In this video, I will show you how to make this exact volumetric animation in Blender without any add-ons. It is going to be quick and easy, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by setting up the settings for the render. So let's switch to cycles, and if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, you can just use the CPU. And then we only need about 30 samples for the render itself. And then let's go down to the volumes settings. And then to increase the quality of the uh, volumetrics, we're going to set the step rate to 0 0.01 and then just max out the max steps so that we get some very sharp volumetrics. And then we're going to make the background completely black. And the reason is that we're going to use emission strength to show the volumetrics. And then we can also delete the light. Now let's save before we continue. So press Ctrl S to save. Give it a name and I press enter to save and then we can open a new window by dragging the top right corner and then let's go into rendered view and then go into the shader editor and then select the cube and then let's also hide the, the overlay and then press x to delete the default principled shader and then press shift a and search for principled volume then connect the volume to volume and then let's set the density to zero so that we don't get any fog. And then press shift A and let's add a Voronoi texture. You don't have to worry too much about what each of these texture types mean. Just focus on combining them into interesting patterns. Now, in order to control the Voronoi texture better, we can add a color ramp in between. And then we can copy the color ramp by pressing Shift D and connecting it to emission color. That way you can control the colors of the Voronoi texture. Okay, and then next we can save. And then press Shift A. This time we're going to add a Musgrave texture. So connect height to vector. And then you can change the scale. I'm just going to set it to 13. And then to improve it further, we can press Shift A and add a noise texture. And then connect color to vector. And then press Shift A once again. This time we're going to add a texture coordinates so that we get even more control over the setup. And then let's decrease the scale so that we can see the patterns a bit better. We can do the same for the Musgrave texture. And then in order to amplify the patterns and the colors, we're going to add a uh, bright contrast node to add some contrast to both the pattern and the colors. And then you can play around with the colors until you have a result that you like. I think this pattern looks cool. And then you can also animate the noise if you want to by setting the type to 4D. So press I to keyframe. And then we can go to the last frame. And then let's set it to 0.1 for example. And then press I to keyframe. Also make sure to select the node. And then press T in the timeline to make sure that the animation is linear. And uh, that is pretty much it for the animation. And uh, now I'm going to show you the whole setup. So I just pause the video and uh, add the notes that you need. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and more animation tutorials coming very soon.